Hey guys, it's Cubition, and today I'm going to show you how to make this sound right here. So it's kind of a super saw sound, but it doesn't have the same like thick and wide characteristics that most super saws do. This is more kind of like an emphasis pad. Uh, this works good for certain kinds of dubstep and well, it's LMS and LMS music kind of just sounds unique. So um, it is good for use. It's very simple. So first you just start with a triple oscillator if I can find it. Um, anyway, so triple oscillator is loud, so you want to kind of turn these down because we're using all three oscillators. We actually need four for this sound, and I have a kind of uh, a hack to get a fourth one um, through an effect. So um, we're going to have three oscillators. We're going to have the first one, which is the, which is the main one. That's going to be a saw, and you just detune the left and the right a little bit. And the second one is an octave above so you want that to be 12 semitones above and then you just do the same thing however this one's going to be a bit quieter than this one and this one is the last one this one is one octave below but it's a square wave and you do the same thing just detune it and then this one's a bit quieter and so So I kind of have them different, but. So every time you do this, it's gonna sound slightly different, but that's all there is there, but it doesn't sound the same. So the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna search for noise and it's this tap slash fractal noise. Um, so the fractal dimension you're going to want all the way to the left so it's a uh, like a white noise because you have it down here. It's not white noise. So you want to make sure the noise level is somewhere up here. And it's just going to keep on going forever and ever. So the thing is we only want the noise to happen when we're playing a note, so actually just take the gate and just crank it up to like a half or something. It doesn't really matter. And now, this, you know, it only plays the white noise when we're playing a note, so it's kind of like a fourth oscillator hack. So we don't want the noise super loud. So, and then that's all you have for that. Now, I have some other things on here like a dual filter and whatnot, but mainly the last thing you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna take an EQ, or something like this. You're gonna wanna cut out everything below 50 hertz at least, and then just uh, like kinda roll it off. So that way you don't really have bass in there because then that'll mess with your other bass. <laughs> So that's actually clipping, so I threw an amplifier in there and I just took it down. And then I just like threw a compressor on there and it's just like some other random stuff to make sure it doesn't clip. And then of course reverb. Reverb, yes, reverb. So now, um, so it sounds slightly different, but the concept is the same. The only reason it sounds different is because we have different volumes here and different detune values here. So 
Uh, you can actually take the same patch and use it in like every song if you want, but if you just mess with the detune just a little bit, it actually uh, makes it sound a lot different. So, uh, yeah, so there's a short little stupid sound design tutorial for you, and I hope you guys enjoy that. And um, uh, So, yeah, enjoy and happy music making. All right, see you guys.